Hi, so we're back here at Story Fandom, uh, trying to, again, like I said in the last video, knock out a bunch of these all in one going. Um, I realized I had not mentioned the past two videos, although by now I would hope you would realize. Uh, you should expect at least one video every week on Mondays. Um, if we ever have a surplus of videos, or like if we're trying to get something out really fast when the special comes out, like we're going to do Ruby Volume 7 because we are a huge Ruby house, if you can't tell from the characters we have over there. Um, which are in the shop here. <laughs> Whole bunch of fandom stuff like that. We're really, really geeky and like to collect stuff. And I'd say we like to collect stuff. I mean, my wife likes to collect stuff. I was gonna say. I, I don't. None of that is yours. No, none of that is mine. On the plus side, it's easy to buy you gifts for uh, birthdays and anniversaries. So. He says to the camera. Yes, because the camera's who are the people. But you were talking. I was talking to both. We want to start <laughs> Okay, so we want to start over. Um, but yeah, you should expect uh, posts every Monday. Uh, when stuff like Ruby comes out, probably expect those on the Saturday, the week after the episode, or you know, if we have something special coming out, um, brands, original stories, whatever, uh, we might post extra videos. But at least every Monday, we'll give you at least something, you know. So anyway, we're here to sort our online abridged episode. Three. Um, so far, have you been enjoying it? Yep. Good. So uh, I guess we'll go ahead and I will try. They swear almost as much as me. Almost as much as me. Almost. almost as much as I got it. Yes. Which she is quite a mouth for a six year old. And yes, we're bad parents. Sorry. Um, I blame you. You always blame me. It's okay. You're I blame you. You're a swearing dolphin. Okay. I was tired that day. And you shouldn't have had me reading her bedtime story. No! I'm eventually going to get this working out so we don't have these moments <laughs> with everything messing up. But anyway. Which normal people, when they read a book with a dolphin puppet, don't have the dolphin puppet swear. I have been up for a long time. I've been up for 48 hours and spent time with our kids without doing that. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Max made me do it. Right, Max? The dog is laying Did on my couch. Did we have Max, then? I don't remember. Well, it's still his fault. Okay. Alright, anyway. Max, it's your fault. Um, so we're going to start the third episode, and I, um, I'm looking forward to it. And, you know, as my beautiful wife pointed out last video, we can just mute the TV. So, I'm going to go ahead and Max, say... Not just a what? Not just a hat rack. <laughs> That's a thing! I know it's a thing. Anyway, so we have a video starting in uh, 3, 2, 1. 5, 6, 7. No, eight, actually! 9. The following is a non profit fan base parody. <laughs> Sword Art Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Aniplex USA, and Ricky Kawahara. Please support the official release. <laughs> It was a Christmas episode in the original. I told you that I thought I thought he was very nice. Well, hello. I can see you come in. I am Sir Jack Dapper. But of course you already knew that. It is my great she's uncomfortable. to introduce you to the Sword Art Online Christmas Extravaganza. A catching tale of whimsy, adventure, and the true meaning of friendship. So, He's as comfortable as you are in front of the camera. six-year-old. We have stickers everywhere. As you can see, on the bookcase. Those are my stickers, though. Even the bottom picks are one? Yeah, one and one of each. Okay. Don't you claim my stickers are yours? I love you. <laughs> Our magical journey began in April, apparently. That's a bit odd. Guess we're going for a slow burn on this one. Oh well, I can dig it, as the kids would say. Our story began at the local dabbing hole, where our hero, Kirito, had just made some new friends, or homies, if you will. I'll stop now. 
Kirito! Who are you people? Why are you at my table? Ah, oh, Kirito. Can I call you Kirito? No. Here's the thing, Kirito. I couldn't help but noticing while I was rifling through your character page. I thought I had that set to private. That you are not associated with any guilds. So the crew and I, I call them the crew by the way, were thinking that you should join our guild. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. No, I know what you're thinking. Am I really worthy to join these awesome dudes? I've literally never thought that about anyone. But let me assure you, we could certainly use someone with your assets. Hey, hey, my eyes are down here. Right, right. So what do you say, Key? Can I call you Key? God, no! Mm, I see. And what if I put on this hat? Oh, don't be ridiculous. What the hell am I signing? To the newest member of the Moonlit Black Cats, Cats. Takerno! Damn it! So let me introduce you to the crew. I call them the crew, by the way. So I've heard. This here is Sachi. And, uh, the rest are NPCs. Wait, what? Yeah. They're all companions from different quests. They help you fight, and as long as you never finish, they stay with you. We must save my family! The bandits are coming! Um, is that important? Nah, it's just part of the quest. They say that, like, every four seconds. Always remember to jump, jump! And, uh, he's from the tutorial. It's not a good tutorial. Winners don't use drugs, except steroids. In which case, use lots of drugs. Wait, so you never finished the tutorial? Hey, just because I can't play the game doesn't mean I can't play the game. Wink. I feel like you don't know how winking works. Thank you for joining our guild, Mr. Kier 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 Sweet merciful Buddha, what the fuck? Now, now, don't panic. Sachi just lives out in the boonies, so our internet connection is kinda shit. Oh god, it's spreading! Grab the women and children! Yeah, we got the shield! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! What shenanigans? Four people died in that fire. But from the ashes sprouted a powerful friendship. And in time, Kirito found that he could almost tolerate them. Much like a fat man tolerates the tapeworms in his intestines. And like those tapeworms, that guild burrowed deep into his innards and gorged themselves on his leftovers until they began causing abdominal pain and diarrhea. I realize I'm almost breaking down a bit here, but Granny Dapper didn't raise no quitters. In any case, things were about to change for young Kirito as he learned one fateful night. Kata said you ran off or- Jesus Christ, what's wrong with your eyes? What? Oh, right, detective mode. One sec. <laughs> oh, that's brisk. Is it supposed to hurt like that? I don't think so. Unless the game is developed by a sadist. Well... Yeah, I heard it. So anyway, I figure I got about, oh, five minutes before I block out from the pain. So, Princess, why'd you run off? Because I'm terrified my leg is going to get me and everyone I love killed. Well, shit, I don't have to unlock that. Oh, God, that's never happened before. Well, maybe this is something you don't need to mock. Uh, okay. But then what's the point of other people if not to mock them? You know, I'm starting to see why people think you're an asshole. People think I'm an asshole? And so they talked all through the night. And slowly, Kirito began to see the error of his ways. If that seems like a cop to you, congratulations! You got a cookie. Wow, Sachi, you've really opened my eyes. I've been such a jerk. Well, no more. You're looking at a whole new Kirito. From now on, I'm gonna be nicer and show people the compassion they deserve. So, can we talk about my problems now? Ugh, no one cares. Oh. Hey, I thought you said you were gonna black out from the pain. Oh, yeah. Guess I'm just a lot tougher than a th <laughs> Hey, crew. I know you guys have been working really hard, and I've got some good news. And? Uh, and some bad news. The good news is we're in debt to the mob! No, wait, that's the bad news. Also, there's no good news. There's a mob in this game? Oh, uh, yeah, I may have promised some, let's say, unsavory individuals that I could duplicate their rare item. And, well, it turns out that got patched. So then why don't you just give back their item? <laughs> well, here's the thing. 
I kind of sold it, and now... The bandits are coming! Precisely! But the Don says all will be forgiven if we replace the item. Well, okay. That doesn't sound too... Here's the thing. There it is. It only drops on the 27th floor. Is that a problem? Well, uh, let me put it this way. Take the most horrific, awful thing you can think of and multiply it by cancer. But you'll do fine. You've got Kirito, and he's practically carrying this crew. Practically? Kirito? I'm sorry. So, on that note, what do you guys think? Well, no offense, but that's the most probably fine idea I've ever heard. That's a weird way to phrase that. Don't push me on this. All right, so we got us a game plan. Wait, you didn't say what you're doing in all this. Well, the thing about that is... Later! We really need to take that ad away from him. God, we've been looking for hours. Why is this stupid thing supposed to drop, anyway? Uh, Kirito, no, did Kira even tell us what you're looking for? Son of a... It'll save my family! Oh, wow. A single chest in an empty room. Yeah, this looks legit. Come on, guys. Even we're not dumb enough to fall for this. <laughs> Sachi, you set them to auto loop, didn't you? Yeah, I thought it would save time. Oh, yeah. We're sprinting to our deaths at record speed. Well, it might not be a trap. Maybe we just want a friend or something. Decloying, soccer nuts, and murder dogs. Oh, wow. Slaughter nuts and murder dogs? It must be my birthday! I thought you were going to be nicer. Baby steps! It's okay. We'll just grab one of the October crystals from Gary. Who the fuck is Gary? We must save my family! Not one scary? Of course it was! No, 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 it's fine. Charlie's got a bunch of health potions. Which one's Charlie? Never mind, I got it. Well, we still have to... Oh, God, stop. stop. Look, we're just gonna have to find our way out. Okay, I'm scared, but I trust you. Do, 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 do. Sachi, no! Kirito, this isn't your fault. <laughs> Well, that was grim. But as with all things, there is always a silver lining. For you see, Kirito still had one friend left with whom he could share his grief. Jada! Yeah! Uh, Christmas! Yay! Christmas! No one kills themselves on Christmas! Yes. <laughs> Christ, I need more This is a sample of the heavy Sorry, but there's my noise. Balls? My name is Klein. That was unsettling. What the hell was that? I correct people so often, they think it's how I say hello. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, no kidding. So what are you doing out here? Yeah, I've been having this weird pain in my chest. I was hoping this rare item might be able to fix it. Well, that's strange. What do you think caused it? Well, I suppose it started right after I watched my entire guild get slaughtered. I mean, I didn't take any damage, so that can't be it. Oh my god! Here we go. As the sole survivor of the Midnight Black Cats, the debt naturally falls to you. The Don sends his regards. Well, as many questions as this raises, I'm gonna keep this brief. Kirito, you're not injured. You're sad that all your friends died. Wow, I never thought about it like that. Yeah, big shock, you friggin' sociopath. Look, I've heard rumors that item might be able to rest players. It's a long shot, but you owe it to yourself to try. Go on ahead. We'll hold them off. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Thank you, Klein. <laughs> hey, boss. Who's Klein? Don't ruin it for me. And there, <laughs> under that frosted fir tree, Kirito spotted the oh, big man himself, streaking through the snowy sky on a sleigh full of Christmas cheer. The patron saint of prostitutes. Look up. Old Saint Nick. <laughs> Thank you for showing me that there's still a part of you that can feel like this. 
Because now that I know where to find it, I've killed it forever. So thank you. Thank you for freeing me, Bones. No, no. You were so close. You were almost a person. You were so close. And so they say, Kirito's heart grew three sizes that day, and immediately shrank six, imploding into a black hole from which no love could escape. The end. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you expecting a happy ending? Well, I'm afraid the world doesn't work that way, Bucko. The only thing you can hope for in life is that you make enough money to fill the void left behind by the woman you love. Which takes your children to some island in Tahiti with a cabana boy half a fucking age. Well, look at me now, you harlot. I'm still alone with all my money. God, I'm alone. So alone. <laughs> this is the only time they do this. So they have like a monkey to do the abridged thing or what? No. Well, they will be all the beginning part. We finally tracked down the one known as Kiriko, but we were beaten back by the legendary warrior Balls Deep 69 and his men. The boy escaped us yet again. I have no excuse. No, from the original. We will give back what was stolen. What are your orders? Don Fluffles. Wow. Seriously. <laughs> so, as I recall, those two, the girl and that guy there, were involved with, remember the short guy that got beat up in the very first episode in the YouTube video? Yeah. Those were the original three members of something we didn't think of. They left. There was some argument or something about the way they were to do the series as a plot. And so they left. And so it was just him. And he's the voice of Kirito. Mm. And so now they brought in other people to fill it in. So like Asuna in the future is a different voice actress. Because that's her original, the butler, the girl there, that was her original voice actress. But yeah, because I think they wanted to do more stuff like that and he didn't want to. I don't know exactly what the fight was about, but this is the last time you've seen anything live action in the series. It's just this last thing. And I agree, it's kind of cringy and bad. The only thing I really liked is the whole, what the fuck? Because even you had the same what the fuck reaction. You were just like, was like uh, the evil Santa miraculous. It's pretty awkward. The Krampus. Yeah. He, was, he dabbed. It was really bad. Isn't that what that thing is that the kids do? <laughs> you how old you sound right now? Well, it's like what the owl guy from Miraculous does. Didn't he do that? Like. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know. I don't watch it Santa episode because you guys watch all that stuff without me most of the time. That's because you work. I'm sorry. We need money. I'm sorry. We run out of stuff to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we're not going to be doing any Ruby. Well, that. No, miraculous. This in general. We can, oh. well, Ruby's a popular thing for people to react to. We have digital Ruby watched already. Oh. Well, it's not going to be miraculous because she's watched. We're not going to do the new season of Ruby? Yeah, but we can't do oh. from the beginning. Oh. Because you've seen it all. And then we'd be lying. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Uh, moving on. So that was the third episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching us watch that. And watching me watch her watch that. Um, if you enjoy our content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to get notifications, go ahead and hit that bell. Which is there. Bell. And thank you very much.